Pilots, Drain Man here, and today I've got a pretty exciting video. In today's video, we are going to check out the new options for the Speedy B Mario 5 FPV frame. Originally, it was just a frame and you had to buy it and build it if you wanted to, but now you can buy it bind and fly, BNF or plug and play, which is a PNP. And if you don't know what that is, a BNF or a bind and fly means that it comes set up, ready to go. VTX, camera, everything is in it. You are just, you bind it and you fly it and that's it. This here is a plug and play PNP. What that means is it comes with everything you need, but you have to plug in your VTX and possibly your receiver, depending on which type you're going with, and then you can go fly. And I don't know the price point of this one yet because it's not even out yet. And if you can hear the wind, forgive me, I'm in beautiful sunny Florida and I am by the water and it is windy, but I just wanna cover this really quick and then I wanna take it for a spin because I am really impressed with this. And I do have a couple complaints and I want to go over them with you. So once I unpackaged it, I went ahead and popped the top plate. And then I went ahead and I lifted up this TPU here in the front and I went ahead and I installed my VTX where I was able to just wire it up and then I mounted my antenna and it comes with this cool adapter right here which you uh, basically tighten down a set screw and then you plop it in and an airplane really. And then I put in my GPS, which really was quite simple. All I had to do was connect four wires, power, ground, RX, and TX, and then immediately everything started working. I started seeing satellites inside of Betaflight. I'm rocking and rolling, I'm ready, I'm ready to go. I did run into a little bit of trouble when it came time to connect my USB. And as much as I love the purple look, because you gotta love this, look at this. And when you plug this in, you get a flow of LEDs right through there, and yes, it's on both sides, but it also blocks your USB, which is what you need to plug in. Now, Speedy B is not too worried about that. Why? I'll tell you why. Because they are wireless, and what does that mean? The Bluetooth, the Speedy B Bluetooth app made by them, their flight controller stack combo can do it built in ready to go right out of the box and that is what's inside of here and we're going to go over that but really quick i do want to mention that this frame comes in two flavors you've got the dc and you've got the xh the xh is going to be more constructed like an x bam and bam now you may end up with propellers or motors or arms in your frames view depending on what you're flying like an o3 air unit which has a wide field of view you may see some of that and if you're flying cinematographer if you're flying cinematographically cinematographically if you're flying cinematically if you're flying cinematically you don't want that so you would get this one. This is the dead cat. And you can see how the arms come straight across. Blow, just like that. And that gives you this field of view look. Whoa, look at that. That is a hell of a range for your camera to view everything in the front without nothing up in your camera view. So if that's important to you, then you're gonna want the DC version. Me, I would probably rather have the XH version because I would rather be stronger and put my GoPro on, to be honest, but you're rocking six millimeter arms. You come with really awesome standoffs on the bottom. And what these do is these are full injection molded, okay? Because you've got 3D prints and you've got injection molding. Now, this injection molding is going to give you a firm landing when you land. It's going to protect your motor screws. It's going to protect your arms in the event of a crash. I mean, it's quite nice. It really is. Now, you also have a heat sink down here, and that's if you're running the O3. When I jumped into beta flight, I did run into a snafu, which I was not happy about, and that is that they flash this for crossfire only. Well, I'm not flying crossfire, and this drone is a bind and fly and a plug and play, so they come preset up, they're tuned. All of your your sliders, all of your filters, all of your, all of that stuff. The motors were set up, everything was set up and ready to go 
even the OSD set up and ready to go for GPS. And then here I am, I have got to flash it in order to get SBUS, which is what I need for my Vista unit. And I didn't like that. I'll tell you one thing they really stepped it up on was these motors. These are Speedy B motors. Look at that. Speedy B, very sick design. And you ready for this? You've got the purple here. And then they went and did the purple on the motors. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. And then you've got the stator at the bottom is purple too. Well done. Absolutely awesome. And then you've got this bronze copper look for the gills. I call them the gills. What this is supposed to do is when you're flying, it's supposed to pull in air and send that air up inside of here to cool everything down and keep all your electronics nice and cool. Let's get into this really quick. So you are talking about a two-stage design. There is a carbon plate that is actually this way, and it's a stackable design. It's got the top, the mid plate, and the bottom plate stacked together. And that's giving you lightweight along with the strength that you're supposed to have from a frame. Now, I won't know till I crash it and bash it, which as you can see, I am here, and I plan to do that. And I'm gonna put some footage for you guys. But also, you've got inside of here, you've got this super cool little pocket and there's two little screws to access it and this is a shaded color you can put it inside of there and see the light flashing on your receiver what's super cool too is there's also a little bay for your capacitor look at that now I didn't do that it came ready to go but if you're gonna build this puppy bam right there you can fit your capacitor and you guys have seen me stuff capacitors in places that capacitors ain't supposed to go and i believe <laughs> this is pretty cool so that's a nice solution i like that now where a lot of the magic happens is inside of here okay you have got the all new the brand new speedy b f405 v4 stack it is a 55 amp stack with a 70 amp burst and it is <laughs> it is awesome it is packed with features okay you've got the wireless bluetooth built in and ready to go you are running a real 55 amps you've got dual gyroscopes and power supply filtering okay i'm not done you've got a on board four level battery indicator. You also have two more LEDs on top, which I really like. One is gonna be a red LED letting you know you're getting power. And then you've got your MCU uh, and your gyro. You've got LEDs on here letting you know that they're getting power and they're communicating. Because of the Bluetooth capabilities, you can change your motors wirelessly. <laughs> Older versions didn't allow that. They allowed you to get in and do beta flight for your drone, but they did not allow you to change your motors. So that's pretty cool. And as you know, and you'll see, it, this came with my motors going in the regular direction. I like to run a reverse direction. So I was able to use the software and reverse it without going through too much of a headache. You've also got a built-in onboard barometer. If you're that kind of guy who's into that and you want that and you need that, you got it. Uh, Speedy B is bringing it back on the Mario with the Mario startup tones. And I don't know if yours is gonna come with that. This may just be something they were playing around with, but watch this, listen closely. And I know it's windy out, but listen. <laughs> That's the Mario Brothers startup, which I'm a plumber, and Mario and Luigi were plumbers. Okay, it's cool. But besides the point, this is the Mario frame with the Mario startup tones. I mean, that's that's pretty cool. Okay, I just want to point out, I went ahead and took this off. I jumped into Fusion 360 because there's not one available. I had to get rid of this hole here, as you can see. And I was able to go ahead and make me a custom GoPro mount. All right, pilots, I'm pretty sure I have covered it all on the new Mario 5 options. I hope that you'll go get your own, whether it's a BNF or a PNP. I hope that you'll stick around for the flight footage. I hope that you guys had as much fun as I did. And I will see you on the next one. Swear I cannot do no wrong. Why I don't have much to say? All that talking on the phone, but you're never making plays. Playing phone tag. You're it. You're it. Pick up more bass.
too legit Swear I cannot do no wrong Why I don't have much to say All that talking on the phone But you're never making plays Playing phone tag You're it Pick up more bags Too legit I love when the money come I get bored, I'm thumbing some Blues and pinks, I'm running on In my lane, no one-on-one Fake love, I'm allergic to Real love, yeah, I need me some Call my bae and book a trip Bring the kids, let's run it up She like us some Louis V I like me some Louis too Mix it with the double G Having fun, that's what we do Fresh out in Montego Bay I'm acting unruly too This is me, unusual Likes a game, I'm cruising so I cannot do no wrong Why I don't have much to say all that talking on the phone, but you're never making plays. Playing your phone tag, you're it. Pick up more bags, too legit. Swear I cannot do no wrong. Why I don't have much to say? All that talking on the phone, but you're never making plays. Playing your phone tag, you're it. Pick up more bags, too legit. Box like Barry Bonds, hitting bombs like Aaron Judge. I might slip and steal a bag, turning third and get a run. Tap the pedal, see it soon. Neighborhood on to the moon.